Hello everybody, it is me, your boy. Um, I'm here today to do my first video on Overwatch. Um, I'm a little bit sick, my throat's hurting me a little bit, so if I do any kind of like throat noises, I'm, a, I'm sorry and I apologize. But, um, I want to talk about five things today. Um, three of them are more recent and newer, I'm going to talk about those first. The two older ones I will wait until the end of the video to talk about because... You've probably already heard about them and seen a lot about them, so I figured I'll just talk about those at the end. So, the first thing I want to talk about is Competitive Season 10 is here. And this competitive season, uh, Brigitte is now playable in competitive. Uh, she was not playable before, she is now. That's the only real big change. Um, so, if you want to get your Competitive Season 10 placement matches in, if you haven't yet, go do so, because that's what <laughs> you do for competitive you place, and then you battle. So good luck in your uh, competitive ventures this season. But next we have a big story. Yesterday, May 3rd, we got uh, a new patch to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. And it added a new map, being Rialto, which is the site of the Retribution event. It's slightly different than the Retribution event, but it is still the same map, as well as some changes to some heroes. The big one, of course, being Hanzo, who no longer has Scatter Arrow and instead has Storm Arrows. Um, he has his new ability, Lunge. Um, he had uh, his projectile speed on his regular arrows increased from 85 to 100, and some Sonic Arrow changes as well. The cooldown decreased from 20 seconds to 12 seconds, um, while the de uh, the Duration decreased from 10 seconds to 6 seconds, and the radius decreased from 10 seconds, sorry, 10 meters to 7 meters. Um, those are the big changes to Hanzo. Hanzo definitely got the most things changed. This is the big update for Hanzo, so uh, that's really all there is about Hanzo. Lucy also had some pretty major changes as well to his wall ride. Uh, they made it essentially easier to do wall riding. Um, you just hold down spacebar, you will go around corners automatically, and your wall ride is less likely to be um, interrupted. Um, so there's some changes that go to that, as well as Soundwave no longer consumes ammo, which is his right click, um, and you can also use it while reloading. Uh, some of the other hero changes as well, Brigitte's Shield Bash the, had the cone angle reduced from 90 to 60, Genji's Deflect Hitbox size was reduced. Junkrat had his uh, frag launcher projectiles decrease from 0.3 to 0.2 and the rip tire movement speed decrease from 13 to 12. And Tracer had her um, pulse bomb damage decreased from 400 to 300. Um, I will have the patch notes as well as everything that I talk about linked in the description if you want to read the full patch notes because you of course you have some bug fixes or things that changed in game browser and all that kind of stuff so if you want to read the whole thing everything in detail link is in the description but the next thing I want to talk about is something that also broke yesterday this one has to do with uh, Brigitte in fact and Jeff Kaplan uh, saw a thread titled why is Blizzard silent on Brigitte and the thread the initial question was essentially the person is wondering why we haven't heard anything they are frustrated with Brigitte they play tank Brigitte is just doing a lot and they're wondering why Blizzard hasn't said much about Brigitte so Jeff Kaplan responded and I'm going to not read the whole, his whole statement as I mentioned I will have it linked in the description if you want to read his statement but essentially, it goes as far as um, we're getting, you know, before the Rialto update went through, he posted this. So he said, essentially, look, we're getting some stuff today. The Brigitte Shield adjustment is coming out today. But there will be some PTR changes coming soon that were supposed to be live already. Um, but there were some issues with it and some bugs and things they had to work out. Um, so they weren't really um, communicating it because they thought it was going to go live, and it didn't. So now they're in a kind of a rough position. But uh, the big change to Brigitte is that the shield 
that she receives from her ultimate is decreasing from 150 to 100, which is a, a pretty significant change. That's that's a decent change, especially when you think about. I mean, 50 is a pretty good amount of health to not have anymore. Um, you know, when you think 150 versus 200 health, you know, tracer only has 150 health, and it's it's easy to kill a tracer if she's not moving. If the tracer's not moving, if she's used all her movement abilities, she's a very easy target to kill. So now you're taking away 50 health from Brigitte when she has her ultimate up. I can see a significant uh, change to Brigitte in terms of how long she'll be able to last during some of these long fights and when she gets her ultimate up and she just charges in there. I think it's going to affect her. I, I assume that 100 is also going to apply to people that the ultimate is giving armor to as well. I don't think it's just going to be on Brigitte herself. I think it'll apply to everybody. Um, but the other thing that was mentioned in this post that was interesting is that Ana's going to be getting some, some changes, some little tweaks. Um, he's not sure if any of them <clears throat> will make it into this PTR cycle. They might make it into the next one. But he he thinks they're interesting. Uh, specifically, he says... Uh, some of the changes required new tech, so they need to keep testing them before they rush it out. Um, so that's interesting to me, because I think Ana changing is somewhat needed. Um, I, I like I play supports almost all the time, because I feel like that's what people need. Um, and Ana's the one that I'm not that great with. Definitely my weakest support is Ana. Um, well, weakest healer. My weakest support is Symmetra, but we'll get to that. So I, I think it's interesting. I think it's going to be more beneficial if Ana gets a little bit of a, a fix and a little bit of a tweak. So we'll see where this goes. I'm interested in seeing how Brigitte is affected and how Ana is affected. So that'll be interesting. Um, if you want to read Jeff Kaplan's full comment, it is in the description, as all things are. But I'm going to move on to the next thing, which is a really big story, which is the Symmetra rework. This story broke last week um, so I wanted to talk about it because I think it's super interesting but if you have already heard this story and the next story I'm going to talk about um, which is something about Torbjorn um, feel free to leave because I'm sure you've heard this already but um, Jeff Goodman uh, mentioned on a thread titled Symmetra Rework Defensive Support um, because <clears throat> Symmetra kind of is a support that doesn't really fulfill that support role. She, I've always found her more defensive as a hero. I've never really seen her as a support, especially since she doesn't really heal. She can put up her shield generator and give you shields, but that's her ultimate. So she's only doing any kind of like shielding and healing with her ultimate. So someone essentially is asking, what will she be? And Jeff Goodman revealed that at the moment, they've moved her to defense, and they tried a version of Symmetra that healed, so the turrets would heal instead of deal damage, but it just, with the way Overwatch plays, just felt awkward and didn't feel right. Um, they've also played around with the way her turrets deploy. So instead of putting down six stationary turrets with one health, she now has three turrets that are essentially doubled strength. So you get three that are basically as strong as the six, and she kind of shoots them out, similar to he describes it as similar to the Pharah rockets that they move in a straight line. I would describe it probably similar to the photon barrier, the way it shoots out. You shoot it out, it just goes in a straight line. If it hits a surface, it breaks. In this case, if it hits a surface, it will attach to that surface. Um, so those are some the, the big changes. You know, 30 hit points instead of one, more damage, and they move through the air. At the moment, you can't shoot them out of the air, but they said they're uh, you know, working on it and iterating things still. Um, you know, it's still very much a work in progress. I don't expect to have this patch uh, with, into the PTR anytime soon. And a couple things, of course, um, the other also mentioned is the weapon. So, they're looking at changing her weapon. So instead of it being a, a beam that locks on to the enemy, um, that starts... 30 damage, and then a second later goes to 60 damage, and then a second later goes to 120 damage. And I know I'm saying this kind of quickly, and it's a little bit hard to follow along. So I definitely recommend reading uh, his full post. I'll have a link 
in the description to a Reddit thread that puts everything together, um, and it has links to the original blog post as well in there, but I will also link to the original blog post. I'll link to both of them, because there's no reason not to. But, instead of doing, as I mentioned, 30, 60, 120, um, in terms of the DPS growth, and then oh, going up 30 every second, it now goes 65, 130 to 195, but it takes two seconds to get to the next level instead of one. And the beam no longer locks on. It's just a straight beam, and you have to you know hold it in place so before it'll get to that point. So it now has more potential. It's just harder to get to that potential. I love that. I hate the fact that Symmetra's beam locks on. It really frustrates me when I'm playing. It, it's frustrating. I hate dealing with Symmetra, so I'm happy with that. Another thing that is changing is her uh, secondary fire. They're keeping the orb. Um, they're changing the time it takes to charge. So, uh, instead of taking two seconds to fully charge, it now takes one second. And the speed uh, has changed from 10 meters per second to 30 meters per second. And instead of piercing enemies, it now impacts. So if it hits an enemy, it'll explode. And they say it does somewhere around 130 damage, with most of the damage being the impact rather than the explosion. Um, but once again, this is all still work in progress, so a lot of this is subject to change. This is just what they've explained at the moment. And then the big final thing is her extra abilities. So her teleporter, which is currently her ultimate, or one of her ultimates, is moving to her E ability. And Photon Barrier, which is currently the E ability, is changing to her ultimate, um, both, of which, both of which will have some significant changes, so it's going to be different. But the teleporter now, what you can do with it is you place the exit, and you can place it up to 25 meters away. So you can place it on top of a platform, you can place it across <clears throat> a hallway. If you want to try to like hide and you're trying to get across an area without being spotted, you could do that. So there's different things now you can do with Symmetra's teleporter, that is now her E ability. You place the exit and the entrance will appear right in front of you. So instead of where it used to be where you place the exit and the entrance appeared at spawn, you place the exit and the entrance appears in front of you. And it can move more things than just uh, people now. Torbjorn's Tourist, Divas Exploding Mech, Junkrat Tires. So there's a bunch of cool things now you'll be able to do where you can, you know, sneak a Junkrat tire around somewhere because they he, they know where Junkrat is. They don't see the tire, boom, blows up because Symmetra snuck it behind the team. So there's some really cool stuff you can do there. Photon Barrier, which is now her ultimate, is also very different where it essentially is just a long wall. And it's static, doesn't move, but it's essentially infinite in size um, because... You just place it down, and that's 5,000 health. So you place this big wall down, similar to the way you may places or ice wall, so you can kind of adjust the orientation. So essentially, I, I don't know if it's going to be a solid wall, like May's wall is, or if it's going to be see-through, like the current photon barrier is. But basically, you can put down a wall. And when you put down the wall, you can force people around different areas on the other team, and your team as well. But... You basically can place a wall through in a choke point um, where you, if you're starting to fall behind on defense and you need time to regroup, you just put this wall down. They can't go through that choke point. They have to regroup. They have to move somewhere else. They have to figure something else out. gives your team time to regroup as well, get everything set up, get your supports ready, get your healing ready. I think it's going to be a very interesting change, um, and it, it's cool. I, I think Symmetra's change is, is really, really awesome, and I think it's going to be better in the long run that she is getting a change. Um, her shield generator, which is currently one of her ultimates, is is gone at the moment, but of course everything is still subject to change. So this may not even be the Symmetra we get, but it's looking like it might be um, based on the way they've changed it. So it'll be interesting to see where this goes. I'm excited to see how they change Symmetra up and how things change, but as I mentioned, Everything's a work in progress. If you want to read the full statement from Jeff Goodman, the full, um, all the comments, they are in the description. You can feel free to click on those. But for the final story of this video, I want to talk about an interview that 
Jeff Goodman did with PC Games N. I don't know what PC Games N stands for. It stands for PC Games Net, or if it's just PC Games N. Um, but he did an interview about Brigitte, and this comes from April 25th. So it's a little bit old, but it, the interview is about Brigitte, and the interview title is It Certainly Became a Goal as a quote, for Brigitte to counter the dive meta. So, the the big thing, which is more what I want to talk about. Yes, the Brigitte stuff is interesting, but what I think is bigger in this interview, which will be linked in the description if you want to read the whole thing, there's some interesting little tidbits in there, such as the name of Brigitte's white cat. Um, but, uh, one of the big things is, Jeff Goodman mentions because he has asked, is there a chance that existing characters will be reworked to keep them viable or allow them to cover multiple roles in-game? To which Jeff Goodman responds with, we're looking at reworking Symmetra in the short term and then Torbjorn down the line a bit more. It's not an explicit goal to be constantly reworking older heroes to keep up with the current game, but sometimes when we look at these heroes, we can see that they would fit much better into the current game with more significant gameplay changes rather than just balance tweaks. Uh, he goes then a little bit more into Symmetra, um, which obviously we just talked about Symmetra, so not as much there. But he's mentioning that eventually they're planning on looking into changing Torbjorn, which is interesting, because I don't know what you can really change with Torbjorn, um, unless they <laughs> make Shield Generator um, part of his ultimate ability, which would be interesting. Um, I think Molten Core is a fine ability. I don't think there's anything wrong with that as an ultimate ability. I don't know what they could really change about his kit because he's a builder and that's a big part of his kit is building and deploying turrets so if they were going to change that I don't really know what path they would take so I'm interested in seeing where they go with this but we will find out after we get Symmetra's changes um, whenever they come so we're going to have to wait a little bit probably before we see Torbjorn get any real uh, changes, but I think this is a very interesting article, and I'm excited to see the direction that it goes, to be completely honest. But I'm going to leave this video off here. Um, this is about the length I want to try to make the videos um, going forward. If you have any suggestions on how to improve them, uh, please let me know. Um, Ideally, I would spend more time talking about some of the stories, some of the patch note stuff, or some of the stuff that Jeff Goodman said, or and Jeff Kaplan said, but because of how much stuff I wanted to cover in this video, um, I had to shorten up my stuff a little bit more. I've recorded this video once before, and it was like 30 minutes long, and that's just too long. I didn't want it to be that long. So, leave any comments, any 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 recommendations for how to improve these in the future. Um, but I'm going to leave this video off here. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, please comment, please subscribe. Um, question for this video. What do you think of the Symmetra changes that are, are coming? Um, do you think they're going to be better? Do you think they will improve Symmetra's chances? Or do you think that Symmetra will kind of suffer from these changes? Um, it'll be interesting to hear your opinion. I, I forgot to mention one thing when I was talking about Symmetra. Um, it's not as big of a deal, but it is somewhat interesting. Shields, when she uses her beam on shields, she actually gains ammo instead of loses ammo. So just thought I'd mention that now, because I forgot to mention it then, and I just remembered about it, but um, what do you think of Symmetra, how do you think the changes will go, and if there's anything else that you feel is uh, an interesting part of Symmetra or Torbjorn or anything I talked about, let me know, but with that, I'm going to sign off, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.